Hey, what up, though? DJ Star back with another unboxing, and we're going to get right into it. But before we do, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And I'm still trying to reach those 500 subscribers. So do what you do best and help your boy out. I appreciate all the love, and I appreciate the comments. So we're going to get right into it. You can tell by the box, you know what I'm reviewing. And today, we're going to go right over it. It is the air... Jordan 4 Retro University Blue Black. This is a US 8, not my personal pair, and the USD will be $200. So as you see, it's not your standard Air Jordan 4 box. It's, it seems a little bit sturdier. You do have a cement print, but what they did with the top was they painted it all white and gave you that University Blue or Carolina Blue or Baby Blue, however you say it, and put the flight under it. And it's really neat, man. It's really good. <clears throat> good luck on this box, man. Just giving it something different, and man, it'd be a lot easier to, to differentiate your um, other fours from this four by the boxes. As you see, you got the um, paper they've been going with for the fours. They did the same thing in um, the fire reds. You got the cement style type paper. And you also notice, notice in the corner right here, you got a quality control stamp. So that usually means you're getting some kind of good quality or premium quality, but Jordan Brand here lately has been all over the place. So let's get right into it today. You know what I'm saying? Right here, the Air Jordan 4 Retro University Blue, aka Carolina, aka whatever you want to call it. And this shoe, in my opinion, is really, really dope. And it's really consistent over the color. And I think that's what I like the most because even though those University Blue um, ones, you had the top that was like this, but the bottom was a different color. I don't know. I mean, I don't really care for University Blue myself, but at the same time, this one is done pretty well. And I heard and I've seen other videos where people was talking about the quality and the execution on this pair ain't great, but it ain't horrible either. So if you like Fords and you like this colorway, you definitely gonna want to cop. We're gonna start at the bottom. As always, you see how they got the bottom standard Air Jordan 4 bottom, which is stars up here in um, that cement gray, University Blue, black, white. And then a jump man in the university blue, and you got that gray right here. You go up to the midsole, and I think this is where it really, really shines at. See how you got that black over the midsole right there, and then you got the cement paint right here for the midsole, and your traditional white with a clear air sole, which would have been dope if they did like a university blue on the air sole. I know I always say that in all my videos, but I think that just would be a really dope touch. You got your wing right here done with that cement print with the black tips. And then you got University Blue laces that go all the way through. These do not come with a spare pair of laces, but at least the make laces match the top of the color of the shoe, and I think that's dope. And your side panel right here where you got your breathable mesh is done in all University Blue, really, really clean. You get up to the, um, <clears throat> the tongue of the shoe and the toe box. It got a nice shape to it. I can't really say it's an OG shape because this tongue is so structured, but it looks to be, and if you look at the quality of this suede, it is really nice. So you can't really get booty backstroke motions as my one of my homies I watch say that all the time. You're not really getting that on these, but it's still a really fine, nice, produced piece of suede all around this shoe. You get up to the tongue of the shoe, it's white with a gray jump man with the flight logo, and this is where a lot of people had a problem, is this extra tag that say 23, <clears throat> and it says quality inspired, what it says. Quality product inspired by the greatest basketball player ever. And, and it's kind of like, I can't really say it's off-centered because it looks like the patches just moved over a little bit, but it does stick out. Some people really have a problem with that. I think if you like the shoe, that's not going to be a big issue for you. But it is kind of off-putting a little different. I know they do it because it's a four because there's no space on the back like the fives to put that little patch down there. But then again, they could have put a little patch by the side and just made it smaller or put it down here and made it smaller. But, you know, who am I to say? When you get to the back tab, the traditional Air Jordan 4 back tab is done in that all cement, real clean with a black jump man. You get behind the tongue, see, and I would say OG shaping, why I said that earlier is because you see the tongue is not flipped and it's not sticking up behind. It's sticking right behind it. So it's black with your Air Jordan upside down. And then on the in inside, you got a black, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me, got a black insert with the um, University Blue Jumpman, and then we get around to the medial side of the shoe, you get a lot more of the same as you see right here, just that really nice material. So I, I'm, I'm looking at the shoe, you can see the execution is on this shoe is bad too, I mean not horrible, but kind of bad, as you see there's a glue stain right there, and some glue stains around the edges, kind of like those other ones, but the, the real weird part I think about this shoe, not as not really in the execution, but in the time. I just looked at the size tag before I pulled it out, 
and they produced these from like 920 to like 12 something. So it was almost four months. It was almost four months, at least a good three months and a half size run. They had time to produce it and make it quality. So I don't know what happened, but you're getting a lot of those blue stains and stuff on this one. Anything behind the tab, no, nope, just a regular clear tab. But I mean, I'm, I'm saying it's not, a, for me, it's not a deal breaker. I'm just not grabbing the shoe personally because I'm not a fan of the University Carolina Blue colorway. I'm just not a big fan of it. So I'm going to personally pass on it. But for $200, you get some decent quality material right here. And this is a nice summer shoe and it's really going to shine. It's really going to stick out. But it seemed like the size run is going to be decent, but I believe they only did men's pairs. I don't know if they did grade school and preschool and toddler. I'm not sure, but I think they only did men's pairs or maybe they did just men's and GS pairs. So pick your poison. Um, this comes out not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. So just be ready for your, um, you know, your new your usual raffles and call your people up and your plugs to see what, you know, what you can make shake if you're really looking for the shoe. But all around, you know what I'm saying? I like the shoe. I love fours. I'm just not a fan of the colorway, but the materials on here is nice. So I appreciate you for checking out my video. I'm going to get about it here. So always subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. So you know when I'm dropping new content and also please like, comment, and share on the videos that go a long way to help the channel grow and help me get to those 500 subscribers. And after that, I'm just going to say love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.